All right, guys, so welcome back to day three. Today, you know, it's starting to peel a lot more. You can see, I'll show you close up. Uh, it's hard to see, but you'll have a lot of flakiness now, you know, just right there. You'll see it's just it's coming off a little bit by bit. If you touch it, it'll flake off. The one thing I do want to recommend is you don't pick it. Just let it fall off, like, naturally. Last thing you want to do is rip it out and then have a little ink come out with it. And then that just, you have to t end up touching it up after. So, you know, it's just easier to let it heal naturally. Uh, right now, I'm going to put the moisturizer on. And um, after day three, I do not recommend to use the Aquaphor just because it's a very, it's hard to apply. You have to really uh, put it on and I don't want to start ripping out the ink or the flakes more than I need to so usually by now I go and I use the uh, the baby uh, the Avino baby so what I like to do now is uh, just do a couple squirts so one two this is a bigger piece so you might need to get a little more on and then what I like to do is I just like to pat it around you know I don't want to rub it in too much I just want to get a nice pat you know, get it all over as much as I can. And then you'll see. And then that's pretty much it. And then once it's done, then you can kind of just gently rub it in around. I need a little more. And like I said before, you don't want to have too much. I like to put more on at the beginning just so everything's covered and then once that's done I need to grab a paper towel just dab it off with the paper towel a nice clean paper towel you guys gotta remember it is still an open wound so you got to make sure it's cleaned and then once that's all done and you know it's all good there's no there's no really excess moisturizer on you're good and then do it again and again and again for three well three times from day two to day five so we'll be back here on day four show you how it's looking and hopefully by then the flakes start to come off I don't see any major scabbing which is a really good sign I've had some scabbing where and then it leaves a little mark in I'm not sure if you guys can see there was scabbing there that kind of affected the tattoo a bit so i gotta get that touched up but you know so I'm, I'm praying that this doesn't happen on this one i'm trying to keep it up as much as possible but sometimes you know that's just how the body heals so thank you guys okay guys today's day four and pretty much i'll give you a close-up today it is still flaking a lot you can try to zoom right there you see you got all the flaking still the shoulder. I mean, the st it's starting to finally go down a bit. There's no scabbing, which looks really good. I'm really happy about the no scabbing part. You can see the Hercules. He's pretty much almost healed. He's on day five right now because I had this guy done the day before. But in terms of the whole piece, let's just say we're on day four. We got one more day of that full one, two, three. After day five, you know what the whole step. I've already said it. We're gonna do only once, but so uh, that's update for day four. Another little tip I will give you guys is now that on day four, it starts to be it starts gonna start feeling dry a lot, and it's gonna start feeling itchy a lot. And what you're gonna want to do is you're not gonna want to itch it, because again, you don't want to. You don't want to take any of that ink out. You don't want to disrupt anything. So what you're going to want to do is slap it when it gets itchy. I know it, it sounds weird, but when you actually do it, that itch goes away. I do recommend you don't do it in public or around people because you look kind of like an idiot. Just the random person slap it. Trust me, I've done it. And a lot of people end up just looking at you like, try to do it where nobody's looking or in your own personal space i will say it does work very well the slapping so you know if you ever get a like i have one right here 
lightly tap it, slap it, and that itch will go away. So we'll see how day five looks. It's almost done healing. I can't wait to show you guys the whole full process of it being fully healed and how long it usually takes. So thank you guys.